Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. You've probably seen my other videos showing you the quick and dirty way to solve a lot of the problems that you experience on your cars. Most notably, a lot of people have watched my top secret tip for solving valve lifter tick or general engine ticking problems. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that one out. But today we wanna to bring you another video showing you quick tips on how to solve problems that you'll probably experience on your cars. So in this case, we're in my daughter's Pontiac Pursuit. Now this is her first car. She just got her license and in true gears and tech fashion, she will be doing the extended $500 car challenge. Yes, we purchased this car for only 500 Canadian dollars. And obviously a $500 car is gonna have some problems. The biggest problem on this car is that the charging system seems to not be functioning. So today I'm gonna show you how to test your charging system without any tools and a quick and dirty fix to restore your charging system while you wait to get it repaired. You're gonna wanna watch this. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. Now, the first thing you're probably wondering is, well, how do you know if you have a charging system problem? Well, luckily for me on this car, it actually gave me a warning when I was driving it the other day that said, warning, charging system not functioning. So that kind of made me wonder, well, what the heck? Why would that, why would that say that? It's been parked all winter. We just gave her this car. It was functioning fine before, but for some reason it's not now. So we need to figure out, well, what makes that warning come up? And is it something serious? So I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question because I had no way to test it. So I'm gonna show you the two ways that I test a car. Now, the first way that I recommend is something like one of these. Now this is just a regular USB uh, adapter for your cigarette plug. And there's a little display on here. I don't know if you can see that, but when we plug it in though, you can see it's, it cycles between the power and the voltage and, and amperage so that's five volts output and then it'll tell me the battery voltage is 12.4 volts now 12.4 volts is roughly what you expect a battery to show when it's just sitting there so that's good so now we're going to start the car and see what that voltage changes to so now the car is started and now let's check what it says 11.7 volts now again, we are idling right now. The car is idling at just over a thousand RPM. That's because it's cold right now. So it's totally normal for your voltage to be a little bit low while the car is idling. That's okay. Now 11 volts is quite low. So what I wanna do to just see if it's just because it's idling low or because it's cold or whatever, is to keep an eye on that gauge while I rev the engine. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to rev the engine to 2000. I'm still 11.7 volts. Now I told you we were going to test this without any tools and we haven't used any tools yet. Sure, maybe using a USB charger that has a voltage output is a little bit cheating, but I'll put a link in the description. However, the next part of this process you can do without tools and you don't need to have that voltage checker it all it's doing is just validating what the car already told me which is that my charging system is low and now i have confirmed that my charging system definitely seems low now what i want to figure out is is my charging system working at all so this next step we need to figure out is the alternator working now the alternator is what charges your battery it keeps your car running so the very very easy test is coming up next so here i am at the back of the car the reason i'm at the back is because her battery is in the back now if the battery for your car is in the front of your car you'll want to go to the front of your car but you need to get to the battery so this is our battery in the trunk of the car and with the car running you can see it's running you can hear it running 
all we want to do is disconnect the negative battery or the positive whichever one's easier for you now in this case they're a little bit loose so the positive one's loose so all i'm going to do is pull it off and now you'll notice the car just stopped the car totally shut off with the battery off if your charging system is functioning properly you can actually start a car and remove the battery and the car will continue to run if your charging system is not functioning, when you unplug the battery, if the car dies right away, that means something's wrong with your actual alternator. So your car is not charging. So right now the car is actually running off of the battery power. That also explains why my voltage meter on that cigarette adapter was reading only 11 and a half volts because that was reading battery voltage. If it was reading alternator voltage, I would expect it to say about 14 volts. Since it didn't say 14 volts, I knew I was probably running off the battery, but I wanted to make sure. So that's the first trick is just, just disconnect the battery, see if the engine dies. Now, in my case, the engine did die. In your case, the engine might not die. If it didn't die, there's a second step that we want to do, and I'm going to show you that right now. So with the car running, you can see we're at 1,000 RPM, it is running right now, and the battery disconnected, and we want to just add more load to it. So the biggest way to add a load is to throw on your, your rear defroster, turn your vent on to defrost, turn your fan up to maximum, make sure that your air conditioning's on, and turn your headlights on and if you need to turn your wipers on and basically what we're trying to achieve is to stress out our alternator now if you have reason to believe your alternator is dying by adding all those extra loads onto your alternator your car will probably die because the alternator just can't sustain all those loads that means that your alternator is not dead yet but it will die soon because your car should run just fine with full load and no battery off of the alternator. If it doesn't, you need to get your alternator serviced. That's it. But what if you're nowhere near a service station? What if you're like me and your car died as soon as you unplugged the battery and you need to get to the alternator repair shop or to the mechanic or whatever? That's where my top secret tip comes in and that's what's coming up next. So what we need to do is pop our hood. We will need to get to the engine for this step. So usually you can find your hood popper down at the bottom of the footwell. Usually it's where your left foot would be in the driver's side footwell. Some other cars might have it in weird places, but usually it's gonna be there somewhere. That will expose your engine just like this. So on this car, which has the Ecotec engine, I don't know what size it is. It's like a 2.4 or something. The alternator is right right here it's right near the top now it's not hard to spot it because usually it's going to have open breathing areas there's not going to be a lot there so i'll flash some pictures of different alternators on the screen while i'm doing this so you have a good idea what you're looking for now i don't need a lot of access in fact i've got very small access here but i have enough to do what i need to do and that's where my top secret tip comes in this is wd-40 if you haven't heard of it well you probably will you can get this at your dollar store, your Walmart. If you don't want to leave the house, I'll put a link for Amazon. But you want to make sure that the one you have has this little straw on it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we want to give it a shake like that. We'll pop that straw out like this. And then it just shoves in this hole right there like that. So this is our setup. And all we're going to do we want to get down in here and we want to spray the WD-40 in all the little holes inside that alternator, just like that. We want to soak it in every hole that you can reach in there. So there, we're going to get it in that one. See if there's some in the back that we can get it in. There we go, got some in the back, like that. And then there's some on that side over there. We're just gonna try and spray it in there. Just get it, get it in every hole you can and the straw helps you to direct it. Like that. Okay, that should be enough. Now let's go try something. 
Now this is where having that voltage meter comes in handy because if our problem is fixed, we'll know pretty quickly, but we want to just get that all sprayed inside all the holes that you can get, all of them. I'll explain why it works in a minute, but now we're going to start the car like that. And then I'm just going to rev it up a little bit. I want to get that WD-40 worked around inside that alternator. It's not going to fix it instantly, but it should fix it somewhat quickly. Just like I said here, you can see the car is running. And now we're going to do the same test. So we're going to pull the battery connector off. It is now disconnected. And the car is still running. Now, is this a permanent fix? Absolutely not. But I can tell you in my personal experience, I was a thousand kilometers away from home. So that's roughly 600 miles away from home when my alternator died in the middle of nowhere. I did exactly the test that you see here, and then I sprayed it down with WD-40. I was able to drive that car around for the whole week and drive back home 600 miles back to my house and I drove it for another month while I waited for enough money to be able to actually go and get my alternator fixed. So it can work for a surprisingly long time. Now, why does it work? Well, your alternator is just a little motor that just generates electricity. So there's little brushes on there. I don't want to get into too much theory, but there's little brushes on there. Those can start to wear out and they do wear out and they get covered in deposits and junk and whatever and getting the WD-40 inside there will clean off a lot of the system inside there, which will restore power momentarily, and your results may vary. So you might not go as far as I did, but you should be able to at least charge your battery back up, and then you could spray some more WD-40 in there if you wanted, and at least be able to drive your car to your mechanic where your alternator can get fixed. Now your alternator will need to get fixed. It is dying. All we've done is put a little bit of life back into it. Keep in mind, this one is dead. You saw it when I unplugged the car, it died instantly. But WD-40 has brought it back to life enough that I can actually drive this car. I will drive it to my mechanic where I will have the alternator swapped out for a remanufactured one, and then all my problems will go away. So the alternator has been restored. It's not perfect, but it will work now for some time. How long? Nobody knows. So make some plans, get your alternator replaced. I hope this tip helps you out. I got a lot more coming up. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video, and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.